Now let's talk about how to find the missing number in a problem that involves addition, subtraction, multiplication, and parentheses. In order to do this, we're going to look at our problem and see that we have a set of parentheses here. Since there's no blank space in our parentheses, we know that we can just start with our parentheses. 725 minus 389 can be simplified to 336. If we bring down the rest of our equation, we get 1,012 on this side and some number times 4 plus 336 on the other side. We're still trying to figure out what goes in this blank, but in order to do that we can work backwards. Our next operation that we can see here is plus 336. To get rid of this we can subtract 336. That'll cancel out these and on this side, we'll get 1,012 minus 336, which gives us 676. Now we've simplified our problem to some number times 4 is equal to 676. This is easy enough to figure out by dividing each side by 4. That'll cancel out our 4's here, leaving us just with this blank of what the value will be for our number. And on this side, when we divide by 4, we're going to get 169. That means that this blank is equal to 169. So that's what we can fill in our original equation. 169 times 4 plus 725 minus 389 in parentheses equals 1012.